Sir, you know, this is the second video on selecting, highlighting the rows or columns in a specific text. This video, I keep saying, and this is my last video, just keep in check that whenever you select yes or no, then I'm going to make this into no. How the color changes, and if I'm going to make this into yes, how the color changes. So, the same thing I want to do is this I want to highlight the whole area. I want this between this one green. In complete green and this one to be in complete with uh, red. So doing this manually is not going to help me out. So I'm going to make this into a normal. And, uh, I'm going to show you how to use the simple formula. So if you are good in writing formulas, I think this is a very simple formula. The main thing is go to home, conditional formatting, and you can manage your new room. First of all, I want to manage the rule and I want to remove this. This is one, I want to delete this. And I want to make this into a selection. I want to delete, delete this and this. So all this has been gone, so this has been manually. I want to make this normal again. I want to make this green in yellow automatically. So, first we have to do is we have to select the whole data from where you want to things to happen. So, if you don't select the data, so I can show you what is going to happen. So, you should know how to write a formula. You can go inside and you can type a formula in the new rule and use the formula determination and you can type the formula. But I avoid typing formula over here because you don't have a Filler or it doesn't have to show you the the roadmap to do the formulas. Yeah? So you might have end up doing an error if you try to do a formula and this number. And if you want to, if you feel that, or if you want to make this an S and you do a format and you fill and okay and. So this is a problem you can do because there is a there is no there is no show that shows that the annotations are correct or wrong. So better you just select this and see this has to be an and equal to open parenthesis and yes and close parenthesis. There is an error in this formula. I'm going to show you what is this. So it is yes, it's showing yes, and I'm going to show false. So if I copy this and I paste, I go to when I escape first conditional formatting and I'm going to manage this and then new rule and I'm going to use a formula and I'm going to paste this thing. The formula is okay, you can come to know when you do okay, but I'm going to do format. So I'm going to select this into a green color in automatics. I'm going to do okay. But you can see that I wanted this whole line to be selected, but only this one will be selected. Okay, there are two errors in that. First of all, I didn't select the whole data. So I need to select the whole data. So I can go to manage rules. And I'm going to select this and I'm going to select the whole area. So you can select down also if you want, you can select down also. Whenever you add an area automatically, it will be in the boundary. So after going here, won't be applied. So you can see all the true has come in correctly. If you don't have border also, you can see you don't have border. Just you can double click this edit tool, format, and you can make a border also. But I don't want, this is not what I'm wanting here. So I want this whole, so I'll be apply and all you can see the border, but I this is I want this whole thing to be selected. So I just made a simple mistake in the formula. I'm going to do is manage rule, and this is not what I'm going to do selection. My selection will be from this year. So this is my selection. Now they apply also. You can see the formula is not working because they have done a simple mistake. When there are important points omitted. Always the dollar sign should be on the left in the formula and always select 
the whole area. This is a very important point I'm going to tell you. Whenever you do conditional converting, so these two are the main things. So basically, you have to go is go to conditional formatting. Now the data you can see manage rule, and you can see the data from B to Z. So if you want, you can check that. So you can see B to Z, or there it has been selected. So the simple mistake is I mean, we did this or double click this. I have forgot to put the dollar sign. So I'm going to put F4, 1, 2, and 3. So when I put this, and I'm going to do OK and apply. But still, there is no issue. There is an issue. Because go to manage. Select this data has been selected. Go to edit code. I'm going to a3. This is not A3. My actual data for yes is not A3. That has to be A3. So just remove this. A3 and A4 and equals to. If A3 equals to yes, I'm going to OK, apply, and done. So you can see the whole section has been selected and you can see in yes or no. If you don't want this also, you can reduce the data format also. You can go to formatting manager rules and here you can make this from J23 to J22. Or you can select this manually. And apply. Now you want to make for no. So now it is a yes, it's going to be green. If you want to make it a no into a red color, you can go to condition formatting. As I said, manage rules. You can do a new rule, but when you already have the things, just you have to delete it. So all the data and every area will be selected. Now you can see this is in green color, so I want this into a red color. So double click this. So the same area, just it should be in the First one, I just make this into a double quote and no. And go to format. What was in the green color now? Make this into a red color. And font in, in white color. And do OK. And do OK. So now, if you want, you can go up, up and down. You can remove, but there is not going to make any difference. The first color will be selected from. Excel so water color it doesn't really make a difference. So now you do okay. Done. So you can see that now the green and red has been selected. Now in case if I made this into a no, or if I made this into an yes, you can see the whole thing changes within span of seconds. So this is going to give you a more clear picture on what or the items you have to focus on. And even if you want, you can just have a filter on this yes and no, and you can do a filter and just see the yes or no. You can just go into less. And if you want to just focus on the no's, also you can just go and select the no's. And the vice versa. So, this video, I'm showing you how to make a simple formula. The main things to be understood is this thing. So I'm going to show you next video on how to have. A condition format or an area on a specific word. Suppose this word I'm having a glossy is getting highlighted. So whenever I'm whenever I just remove this glossy, you can see it's become normal. When I'm having it glossy, why it's giving it? So inside the description or inside a sentence or inside that, so the area which is having anywhere you can see glossy, glossy, glossy in any sequence anywhere, it is going to highlight it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you about the same things. I hope you understand and like this video. Let's see you in the video number three on conditional formatting. Thanks for watching.